Whoop! <laughs> Scared me. Hey guys, what's up? And welcome back to another round of finding overly sponsored products. I see so many ads, so many ads for these products and I wanna test them out and we'll see what's up with them. And if you like these series and you're new to this channel, welcome and I will link the rest of them at the end of this video. Nothing wrong with a good ad. Like sometimes they, they get me and I buy the product and sometimes they're amazing. But I know sometimes you find things and you're like, mm. And we're gonna start with this liner from a brand that I absolutely love, Shiseido. But I've never tried this liner before, so I'm excited. I love their eyelash curler. If you're in the market for a good eyelash curler, highly recommend. But this is the Arch Liner Ink and it has sort of like a like an angle to it or something. So I'm kind of curious about it. And we need to zoom in, you're too far away. Is that any better? I feel like it is. So we have this liner right here. See how it's sort of like dipped? So it's supposed to be really good for creating a nice wing. And if you're new here, I suck at doing wing liners. So <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. Does this make it easier? I don't know. I was just about to do it, but then I realized like maybe there's some tips online that I should be aware of. Sometimes they're helpful. Apparently it's going to eliminate the once unavoidable blind spot by the user's hand in the pen itself. Blind spot, interesting. 24 hours of waterproof, smudge proof, and tear proof formula. So um, <laughs> hopefully no tears. That's always my goal for the day. And it's just supposed to be intuitive. Intuitive is good. And I have, you can see like the crease goes all the way, like right to the end here. So it just makes the whole process of doing a wing a little bit more difficult. So you have to kind of, there's a workaround. So here I am with intense concentration. I need to curl my lashes because my lashes also tilt down. So it creates an inaccurate line to where my, like my lid ends. It's a whole process. All right, liner, impress me. Must be very quiet when doing liner. And always look forward. If you have a similar eye shape, lid shape to me, looking forward is important. This is a very important part of it. So far, so good. Didn't skip or do like weird things and like pull at my my lids. We love that. Doesn't help that I have a mirror that's like really far away. I don't know why I do this to myself. I have a mirror right here. Oh, this liner is next level. Oh, okay. Look at that. That looks really good. I mean, I need to <laughs> I need to do the rest of it, but like that's a nice looking wing right there. The precision on this thing is incredible. Let's see what happens if I try and carry it on the inside. I'm getting cocky now. I'm like shaking, not used to drawing inner corner liner. I don't know, does that look okay? A little bit shaky. Oh, you went too far, Rachel, too far. You know when you try and do the inner corner, it starts looking like a really bad, like a beak, like a bent beak. And you're like, nope, nope, that was the wrong angle. I know I'm tinkering with this a lot, but like, I'm honestly very impressed. That's a good looking line. Okay, let me do the other eye. Honestly, I think that looks really good. And um, that's a lot sharper of a line than I would normally be able to get. So if you're someone who struggles with liner and wants something that's gonna give us a nice smooth line and a lot of precision, I really like this. I'm gonna be using it again. But now, mascara. This, I saw a ton of ads for. It's the Maybelline Colossal Curl Bounce Mascara. I've heard of the Colossal one. I've tried it before I think it was fine I don't think it was my favorite but I don't think it was bad either and this one's supposed to give big volume bouncy curl and 24-hour wear it has like a memory curl formula so it's supposed to activate a curl that's going to last and last and last I have very stick straight down pointing lashes so if it can hold a curl and keep it there that's a huge win let's give her a go so the packaging here it's nice and thick it's got like a little bit of like a a texture detail to it. Um, it's a nice big wand. And then the bristles themselves, it's kind of curved, but like a pretty standard looking bristle. So let's recurl just in case and let us apply. See what I mean with my liner? It's like <laughs> everyone's eye is so different. I would say it goes on pretty thin the first coat. It's not very exciting. <laughs> Give it another coat here. All right, it's now starting to build. This is like the third coat now. Come on, Maybelline. I don't like it. It looks like um like bad fake lashes. Like they're kind of like spiky and clumpy at the ends. Oh no. No, no, no. Oh, this is so, ugh. oh, I'm so sad. <laughs> I have one of those things that I can like brush through this. Oh. 
I don't know if that's any better. Wow, Maybelline, you make great concealer. Great concealer. Among my favorites. But mascara, we need we need to talk. I'm gonna try it on the other eye because just maybe I'm having a bad lash day. Maybe I'm having a bad lash day, I don't know. I just don't like it. My lashes just look weird. Why is this one sticking straight up and none of the rest of them are? Tell me this, Maybelline. Explain this to me. I'm gonna have to recurl them desperadoly. <sighs> Yep, this is just one of those things that's overly sponsored and doesn't deserve it. It's bothering me that my lashes look like this, but we're gonna move on. We're actually gonna go on to a weird skincare device. And I actually got people requesting it on Instagram for me to talk about this particular product. And so I'm glad I got it because it took a while to ship here. I just realized I'm wearing my, my earbuds still. It doesn't have anything in it. I just, I put it on to be productive. Does anyone else do that? That's a weird thing that I have. Okay, and it is this skin like snatching tool. <laughs> Sounds so funny when I say snatching. Like, rawr! And it's this contour wand that's just supposed to like snatch you up. Get your skin all looking good, de-puff, de, puff, de and It has different light in it that are gonna do different things. So green they call the jawline snatcher. It's supposed to help with like lymphatic drainage, I guess. Blue light is gonna kill bacteria and help if you have any sort of acne. And then red is supposed to stimulate collagen production. And my guess is the only way that this is gonna really make a difference is using it over and over and over again. But some people were saying that there was like instantaneous results. So that's what we're gonna look for. So the first things first, you need to put some cream on, something for it to slip over. I have my cream, we're putting it on. If we need more, we will do more. Got it in my hair, awesome. All right, oh my gosh, just made a noise and it scared me. Okay, we got the green. Whoa! <laughs> scared me. When it hits your skin, it starts vibrating, and I wasn't prepared for that. <laughs> Sometimes I just question what I'm doing with my life. <laughs> what a weird thing. Okay, how many times am I supposed to do this? Gently stroke in an upward motion, five to ten times. So just keep doing this. Also worth noting that it said don't use this if you've had like plastic surgery in your face or if you're pregnant. So just again worth noting. Always read the fine print on these things. I don't feel anything other than like a light buzzing. Like I've tried the new face um, thing, the new face thing, and I always tasted metallic whenever I used it and I hated it, so I returned it. By the way, I trust none of these machines. You cannot use my video, it's not allowed. Married to a lawyer, trust me, I'll use him, okay? And now we go upwards. Shouldn't have my earrings on for this. Really, I shouldn't have any makeup on or anything, but I don't have any on my face, so. And you'll tell me if you've noticed a difference, right? Like, we're gonna be honest with each other. It looks like, from this angle, I look like I have a squeegee on my face. Honestly, it's a little bit soothing. I'm kind of enjoying myself. I guess it's saying you're done. I saw people use it up here. I don't like that. Let's try that one. This one feels a little bit warmer. I don't know how you're supposed to get your forehead. How are you supposed to get like your 11s? This is, this is the question I have. All right. So, do we notice any immediate difference to my skin? I turned it off. Anything? I don't know. It felt nice. Maybe if you use this every single day, you would notice a difference. Um, I, I don't, I don't know. I have to look back at the footage and see, but like, I don't. Think I noticed anything immediate? I don't know, I don't know how I feel about this. Zoomed out a bit, so let me know if that looks any different. Does that look different? I feel like it doesn't look that different. Well, let's put on a little bit of face makeup now. There we go. Wish makeup went on that fast. <laughs> really like my lip colors today. Hang on, what is this? This is Rare Beauty, their lip liner in, in Wise. So pretty. Like the perfect shade of like a mauvey brown. Cause I really love the look of brown on the lips and it just, I can't pull it off. But this shade is like a good in between for me. Anyway, on to perfume. Now this is the Glossier You perfume. If you are like me, you probably seen the ads for this all over TikTok, but this thing, everyone is talking about how incredible it smells, but I need to share with you the saga of getting it here. Because this, fun fact, was actually gonna go in a video back in like, I wanna say September or August. However, it took forever to get here, and they eventually got back to me like, I wanna say three or four weeks after I had ordered it, and they were like, hey, 
sorry, there's been a bunch of like manufacturing issues, but your stuff will get there soon. And I was like, cool. And then another three weeks go by, maybe four. Also worth noting that they did not offer any sort of like a discount or um, your money back on your order or anything like that. Like there was just like, sorry, you'll get it when you get it. I just ordered this. This was in a PR sample, just worth noting. Wasn't super impressed with that from like a customer service standpoint. So this perfume. The notes are, oh, I was just gonna list off a whole bunch, but they, they went into like a, they have like a story here. Like they went into a full thing, I'll put it here, but basically it seems like pink pepper and then woodsy and then warm ambrette seeds and then amber and iris. But basically it's supposed to smell a little bit different on everyone, everyone's um, pH is going to um, react differently with it. And that's kind of what they're going on with the whole like you perfume. Kind of reminds me of the whole like pH changing lip glosses and blushes and stuff that have been going around again. Like it's definitely gonna be not the same shade of bright pink on everyone. Sometimes it's mildly more purple. And then under good to know it says, smells great, awesome. Good to know. Worth noting also, I just went under the like the first review that was written there, it's sorted by most helpful reviews, is that someone said that it smells nothing like the old one and the scent does not last on the skin and it used to. So that's interesting. Let's see what it smells like though. So first things first, I like to spray it on the thing just in case it's horrific and I hate it and I don't wanna smell like it all day. So I like how I said that and I got it on my hand. Okay. It's light and it's fresh. I see where they're going with that. It's very light and fresh. I don't immediately hate it, so I'm gonna spray it on myself. Okay, I get the peppery, I get a little bit woodsy, but in like a spring day kind of way. Like it's giving me a walk in the springtime, but not after a rain, not like that sort of um, heavy dew kind of a scent. But the pepperiness is an interesting kind of top note there. So we'll see what it smells like when it kind of like, dials back a little bit and we'll see if Chris can smell it because Chris is notoriously terrible at smelling any sort of perfumes on me. There are only a few that he can actually smell and I'm curious what he thinks of this one. So we'll go downstairs and do that. But oh, first I, I just realized I'm wearing the wrong earrings today because I wanted to talk about another brand I see a lot of, which is Missouri. And all the ads, they have these like beautiful jewelry boxes. They're so aesthetic and gorgeous and like filled with all of this jewelry. I'm like, I'm jealous. I want it so bad. <laughs> so the premise of Majori is essentially it's supposed to be like everyday fine jewelry. So you get good quality product, but you don't get that same markup that you would from a more traditional jewelry store. So while my Amazon earrings are, you know, they look good now, they are going to discolor very quickly. They are a lot cheaper and they do hurt my ears over a period of time for the most part, not all of them. But Majori is supposed to be like a better quality product. It is, you know, significantly more expensive than Amazon, but it, evidently not as expensive as like at a jewelry store. So my thought is instead of spending $300 on a pair of gold hoops, you would spend like 100, 150, I think. So I've been eyeing this like little pair of, I think they call them like a baguette earrings that they're, they're so cute, these little, little hoops. And my parents got them for me for my birthday and they're so freaking cute. They don't hurt my ears. They have not discolored at all. They're a little subtle, but I love the texture element to them. And they're really pretty. I have nothing bad to say about them. I am not a jeweler or I'm not an expert in this field, so I don't know how better of quality this particular product is versus, you know, something you'd get at the jewelry store you get you know, from an Amazon, but I can tell you that from someone who has not super sensitive ears, but like a little bit sensitive, like my ears do get angry from some of that jewelry that I wear. Am I going to deck out my entire jewelry collection from them? No, but do I really like them and I want to add more to my collection? Absolutely. But I think I'm going to go for like more classic pieces, like a little hoop earring, you know? Right now I get to try on something that I've been seeing for a while now. This is my first time actually buying from them. And you've probably also seen the ads. I feel like everyone has. And they are for these sheer text tights that are basically supposed to be indestructible because you're supposed to be able to put them on and just like pull on them and they're not supposed to rip at all, which if you've tried on tights before, you know this is a struggle. You have to be so delicate when you put them on. You're just like, just like very gently. And if you have like a tear in your nail at all, or if it's winter and your hands are dry, like game over. And sometimes they'll rip from nothing. So I applaud them for at least, you know, addressing an issue that all of us just decided, well, that's the way it is now. This is how we must live our life now. And we're just gonna fix it with clear nail polish and 
boss attitude. And I'm not one that wears a lot of tights, <laughs> mostly for that reason. But also, you know, I work from home and I am a mom of three. So why, where am I wearing these? However, I know that a lot of people do wear these. And so I want to put them to the test. I'm going to put them on and I'm gonna pull at them. I am going to, I don't know, they've done all sorts of stuff there. They put like things in it to try and get it to rip and it doesn't. So we're going to, we're gonna test these out and also see what they look like. Do they look great? I wanna know. So let's, uh, let's put these on. And I learned something about myself today is that I don't own skirts. So is this a dress that I sort of rolled down? Yes. Yes, it is. I don't, I don't do skirts, I don't do skirts. But well, we need to know how difficult these are to put on in the first place. So while I do that, also worth noting that they didn't have a lot of options in terms of shades. Like I would have really liked to see a whole bunch of different nude colors or like um, like a deep brown or even a charcoal. I think actually they might've had a charcoal but it was out of stock. It's just something a little bit different than varying shades of black. Okay, hold on, I had to like pull it up. when. I entirely forgot that that would be a thing that I would have to do. Okay, so pulling them on. Also worth noting, I do have long legs. I am quite tall. So I wanted to see how difficult that was gonna be or if I was gonna rip them in trying to like stretch them over my legs. So, so far, it hasn't done anything. I've been even just trying to like get a handle on them and it's been difficult. But you can see that when I do, they're not, uh, they're not ripping. I have little claw claw fingers and they're not, uh, they're not so far ripping. This would have um, destroyed a lesser pair. But even just like getting a hand grip on them is difficult. I'm like pinching my own skin to make this happen. And they're not stretched out, also important. What about how they look? Do they look okay? Should I be a skirt person? I don't think so. I don't think skirt, <laughs> skirts suit me. They are comfortable. They feel mildly um, slippery. They're supposed to be, I think, water resistant or something? What does it say here? 10 times stronger than steel. It's like Superman status. Antimicrobial and water resistant and then uh, ethically made in Montreal. So yeah, no, I like them. I think that they work really well. I will say I wish they had more shades. That's it. But now I need to go share with you some skincare things I've been testing. <laughs> Just kidding. I forgot to ask Chris if he can smell my perfume. Christopher. <laughs> well, at least try though. Do you smell it? Well, something. I mean, there's a scent there, but I, I couldn't pick anything out. Yeah, it's very subtle. But you're right, it is kind of warm spices, but yeah. something. I don't know if it's vanilla -y or cinnamon -y or something. I don't it's know. The, one some, of those spices. Yeah. yeah, I think that's the seed. It's like an Annette seed. I think that's what it is. Never heard of her. <laughs> well, I mean, though, Annette, that's a nice name. Yeah, it's it's warm, but there's nothing to it that I'm like, wow, I'm so glad I have that on my skin. I smell amazing. Not my favorite. Thank you, Chris. All right, back upstairs, and I am out of breath. I'm so out of shape. But now I want to talk to a product that I've been using. Dropping. Did I break it? No, I didn't. Okay. Oh. But now I want to share with you guys two different skincare products that I used probably last week and I shared sort of like a first impression standpoint on it. But then I want to update you guys afterwards on what I think of it now because I've been using it every day. Starting with the Roque Retinol Skincare Capsules. So there's like these tiny little capsules in here that you break open and you apply all the product to your skin. And it just means that the product isn't going to um, deteriorate as fast as it, if it was like just in like a pump formula. I've used products like this before and I've really loved them, but I, I test so many things that I'm just like, yeah, just, you move on. But I'm just, I'm really glad that I saw this because it reminded me how much I love this kind of formulation. First, Gotta remove all makeup. Be so careful on the lashes. Be gentle when you're <laughs> removing your makeup. Okay, you just dry my skin. I want your skin to be really, really dry if you're applying a retinol. Look really dry. Okay, let's open this up. You don't get a lot in here. How many is this? Oh, it's 30. Apparently this is for a month. Okay. It's so pretty. <laughs> so they look like this. Like little goldfish, but not golden. And you just twist it. And it has a whole bunch of stuff on the inside. Like that. It's going to powder into the skin, like so. And then I'm gonna let you know in the morning how my skin feels and how it looks. So far it feels very, um, 
It doesn't feel watery at all. It feels oily, that's, that's what it is. It feels very oily, but it's like hydrating the skin. It's not like it's just sitting on top of dehydrated skin, like it, it feels nice. All right, well I'm gonna go eat some cookies and then I'm gonna go to bed and I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, good morning. I have two minutes before my children wake up, so let's talk about this. Honestly, I really like this serum. I was noticing when I was going to bed, I looked at my skin in the mirror and I was like, like it looks so good, really smooth, really soft. It just looked like its best self, so I will be continuing to use these. These are going directly into my everyday drawer. People have been raving on how their skin looks after using this for a while. And that's the Paula's Choice, their 2% um, BHA liquid exfoliant. So I'm gonna use this for the first time today. I got the little one. This is still $13. This isn't gonna be cheap, but I feel like it's gonna be good. Okay. Rinsing my skin. I don't like to wash it both morning and night. I'm gonna put some in my hand. I'm just kind of smooth it over. And make sure, by the way, if you're using this in daytime, to use a, uh, Use a sunscreen. You should be using a sunscreen anyway. Smoothing it on. All right, pores be gone. So again, I've been using these for a week, not a ton of time, but like enough to get an idea. I love the capsules. I've been using these every single night and I feel like my skin looks really good when I apply it. That looks really good the next day. And so I'm just gonna continue to use it. I think it's a great retinol product and I've been enjoying it. And then the toner, where did I put it? I just put it on this morning. I literally, oh, there it is. Okay, this is such a small little bottle. It's expensive too. And I've also been enjoying this. Both of these products I have been using every day and I'm going to continue. Will I probably buy the larger size of this? Yeah, probably. Because I think it's doing a good job with my my pores, which is something that I struggle with for my skin. And so I get it. Like I get the hype behind this. I'm very excited about both of these products. They have been awesome. If you see any ads for products that we should buy next time, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what they are. I will pick them up. I will purchase them. We will test them together. Make sure you check out these other overly sponsored tested videos that we've done. I've also done them on my other channel too. If you like more like the food beverage kind of world, those are also super fun. I hope you guys are having a fantastic, fantastic day and I will see you guys all next week.